In this video, I will walk you through on how to access the files you have on your iPhone from a PC. Here we are using Windows PC. Okay, so I will walk you through on how to use Kebo to access photos and pictures you have on your iPhone. And I will also walk you through on how to access other types of files like PDF, documents, Excel, and so many others. Let's just get right into it. The first method through which you can use to access the files on your iPhone from a laptop or computer is through cable. So get the cable you use in charging of your iPhone, connect one end to the USB port of your laptop or computer, then the other end to the charging port of your iPhone. All right? Sometimes when you connect, make that con this connection, a notification may show up on the screen of your iPhone asking you to grant access. All right, insert the passcode of your iPhone for it to be unlocked. Now let's get to the screen of our PC. As this connection is made, get to the desktop or the screen of your laptop then you click on file explorer as the file explorer opens click on this pc on getting to this pc the next step is you will see your iphone show up here all right double click on that iphone then you will see the internal story showing you the free space you have and the total storage space all right so double click on it on double clicking on it give it time for the folders you have on your iphone to open listen these folders are generated depending on when you started using your iphone everything is grouped month by month. For example, 2406 means June in the year 2024. So when I double click on it, I will see all the videos and photos I took in that particular month of the year. Look at this, 202509A means all the photos and videos I have on this on my iphone in the month of september 2025 so if i double click on it you will see all the files all right so these are them the same thing applies for other months okay then for example i want to copy this particular picture all right i'll click on it for it to be selected i'll click on copy once it's copied, I can click on any of these major folders of my laptop for me to paste that. Okay, let's say, let's work with downloads. I'll click on downloads and then I will click on this paste option. So that has been copied from my iPhone into my laptop. So if I remove the connection I have with the cable, then this file remains here. Okay, then let me go back to that folder again. If, for example, I want to copy video, I'll click on this video once, then I'll click on this copy icon. Then I'll get the downloads folder of my laptop, and then I'll click on paste icon. And this has we paste here, all right? You can see it's copying, all right? Good, and look at it here, okay? So this is how you access files you have in your iPhone. But in this example, we just accessed only photos, and videos then what of a situation whereby you want to access other types of files first make that cable connection between your laptop and your iphone and grant request when you are prompted on your iphone to insert passcode all right once you do that then get to your microsoft store all right click on this microsoft store once it opens wait for it to load then click on on this inside this box that has this test search apps games and more 
then you type iTunes Connect. All right, iTunes Connect. Press the enter key of your computer keyboard. This will return some results for you. Look at this. This is iTunes Connect. So I'll click on it on the assumption that I have not installed it on this my laptop before. The next step is to click on install or get, depending on the test here. Wait for it to finish the installation. All right. Then after that, you close. As you close the Microsoft Store, the next step you need to take right now from there is to start accessing the files you have on your iPhone. And how do you do that? You click on Start, then click inside this place and search for that app you will just installed, iTunes Connect or iTunes. Click on that. Let me maximize this. All right, so once you find yourself here, the next step you need to take is to click on this phone icon. On clicking on this phone icon, you will see some details about your iPhone from your PC. All right, but that's not what you are interested in here. We are interested in accessing the files on my iPhone from this laptop. Then you need to click on this file sharing option, which is by this left margin. You will see the list of apps that can share files on your iPhone, all right? That can allow you to access, access files on your iPhone. But if we can't find any here, please install one, all right? For example, these can be folders. You can see them as folders, all right? So they can serve as folders depending on the files you have on each of these folders in the my files app of your iphone okay take for example excel let me double click on excel now you can see pictures and videos i have in a cell folder okay so let me go to OneNote. you can see OneNote does not have any file inside so any file you want to access get to the app all right the files app of your iphone when you get to that files app of your iPhone, have all those files you want to access from your PC inside each of the folders you want to access from here. Okay, let's now check this folder, which is Word. So I'll click on Word. On clicking on Word, you can see so many documents, PDF files, and a lot of them because I have added all these files in the Word folder that is in my iPhone. For example, I want to copy this PDF file from this my iPhone to my laptop. How do I go about it? First, I will click on the file. On clicking on the file, get to the bottom part. You will see this add, add file, and you will see save. All right? Click on save. Now, this will open a location on your laptop immediately. So, let's say I want to save this in the documents folder of my laptop i'll click on documents and then i'll click on select folder this particular file i selected now is now saved in the documents folder okay let's you know experiment with another one let's say this letter pdf all right i want to save it from this my iphone into a laptop my laptop i'll click on it scroll down click on save all right then okay let's say i want to save it here inside the music folder i'll click on music then i'll click on select folder you can see this letter pdf will now be available in that particular folder of my laptop let's check out i'll click on this file explorer then i will click on music that was where i saved it and look at it letter pdf I believe this content helps please if it does help consider subscribing to this channel here we cover a lot on technology so subscribe to learn more leave a comment in the comment section and hit the like button so that youtube recommend this video to more people thank you and see you some other time